fantasy, science fiction, historical, my bookshelves are overflowing quite literally with these sorts of books, which may not come as a surprise. You might have been noticing elements appearing in my art. <laughs> I started reading fantasy and sci-fi fairly early on. If you've ever read these genres, you'll know at least these two things. One, if you find a fabulous looking book at a secondhand bookshop or library, it will be book two of an eight book series, and they won't have book one. <laughs> and two, it doesn't take you long before you're tripping over dragons. Amongst the books I read as a teenager, one of the first dragons I met would have been in The Hobbit. And Anne McCaffrey, of course, and her host of dragons in Dragon Riders of Pern. Melanie Rawn, we found a valley full in her Dragon Prince series. Tad Williams had the Dragon Bone Chair. And I'm sure there's plenty more I can't even remember. Did Terry Brooks have dragons? How about you? Got a favourite fantasy or sci-fi with dragons? Comment below and let me know. Anyway, in those days, if you looked at my school exercise books, you'd find little dragon doodles flying all over the margins. Dragons even made it into drawings like this one. And poems, too. But, you know, all that's pretty silly and not for grown-ups. There were adult things to think about, like getting through uni, finding a job, paying the bills, buying a car and house, getting married, divorced, getting married, London, all the things. So, magic... Elves, dwarves, dragons, and the rest of fantasy got put away. Until they all started leaking through into my art. A ribbon of hair, a dwarf there, a sorceress with a magic staff, and suddenly a whole collection of joy-filled fantasy. And now it's time for the dragons to rise. 